everybody and welcome back to my channel. I have not been on YouTube in a really long time, so today I am doing a get ready with me chit chat makeup look. I am going to be using the Morphe by Jaclyn Hill Volt Collection. I actually have two collections because when I went to go check out on Morphe's website the day that it launched, it said limit two per customer, so I'm like, oh, I might as well just get two of them. Um, so, we will be using these palettes, there's four of them, I'm actually only using one, and it's the Bling Boss, it's the purple palette, obviously I have it on my eyes right now. So we're going to do that, and we're also just going to be doing like a little bit of talking about what's been going on, what I've been doing, what I've been doing this summer, why I haven't really been on YouTube, because I'm lazy. Um, yeah, so keep watching and we'll get right into the video. Alright, so we're just going to jump right into things. Um, the reason why I haven't been on YouTube is because I moved into a new apartment, so I moved in in June, so pretty much three months prior to that, I started like packing up all my stuff in my mom's house and packing up my bedroom, so it was kind of like annoying to like set my YouTube stuff up and then also be packing around that, and I just didn't have time, like on my free time I wanted to go out shopping and I wanted to go to Target and Home Goods and, you know, make sure that when I moved in, I was ready to move in. So now that I am moved in, I'm settled, summer's over which I actually had a pool at my apartment so every day that I had off I was out at the pool I didn't want to be inside so that's fine but now that you know fall's gonna come I will be on YouTube more and I'll be able to do more videos um, okay so first I already filled in my eyebrows and I did like a little bit of concealer over them and then I also did primer so I'm using max um, studio finish concealer and this is in the shade NC25 and then on my eyelid to prime my eyelids I used Max Painterly um, Pro Longwear Paint Pot. Duh. And the reason why I use Painterly is because it's like a mauve color. And today we are going to use the Bling Boss palette from Jaclyn Hill. And this is the palette that has like all like the mauve shades. So this look that I'm going to do is pretty much like an everyday look for me. I love purples and mauves and like pinky colors and um, any type of like burgundy or maroon color on my eyelid because I feel like with my dark hair and my olive skin I just feel like these colors are like very complimenting for me. So like I said my eyebrows are filled in, concealers underneath of them like on my under my brow bone and then I have my painterly paint pot on my lid as a primer. So real quick first we're just going to go in with the Teddy Organics Organic Rose Water. And I'm just going to lightly spray this on my face. And this is, um, so this is just a toner. And what this does is, actually it says here, um, organically grown rose petals. Rose water can be cleanse, rose water can cleanse and hydrate the skin, act as a natural toner and help tighten pores. It is the natural solution for maintaining skin's pH balance and soothing redness and irritation. So I don't really have a lot of redness, um, and my pores aren't really like crazy huge, but I like it. I like the way it feels. It, I'm not really into how it smells. I'm not a huge fan of that, but that's okay. If it's going to make your skin look good under your makeup, then we will work with it. So first I'm going to go in with my Morphe M441. This is like a large buffing brush. So the first color that I'm going to go in with is this Hush Hush shade. So I'm just going to twirl my brush into that. And... Need a mirror. Good thing these palettes come with a mirror. So I'm going to start this out in my crease and kind of work that towards my brow bone. I'm not going to bring it all the way up because I do want a little bit of my concealer to pop underneath. So just lightly move that back and forth. When I first bought the whole Volt collection, I was so excited because I loved the original Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Um, but then I got so many messages from people asking how I liked it because no one else liked it. So I was freaking out and I hadn't used it yet because I was, I was waiting to do a YouTube video, which... I never got around to so then I had to use it just like on a work day but I was waiting so I never really got around to it so I was like so nervous to use it but I felt like mine worked totally fine I think that they're all super super blendable I loved all the shades the only thing was that I felt like my glitter was pressed a little bit too hard so all like the shimmer palettes they're definitely um 
they're definitely kind of hard to move on your eye. I know Jaclyn Hill actually created a video explaining the palettes, so I definitely would check that out. The video was like 45 minutes, and I'm pretty sure I watched the entire video. Now that I have the Hush Hush color as my transition color from my brow bone into my crease, I'm going to go in with the... Hmm. Alright, we're going to go in with the Rockstar shade, and I'm going to go in with the same brush. And I'm just going to swirl my brush around there, tap off some extra, although I kind of like working with a lot of pigment because then you can move it however you need to. So I'm going to start this in my crease. Oh, this is really purple. I like this. I love purple. So we're going to start this in the crease and work this up. So I think that these colors blend perfectly fine. I actually feel really bad for the people who had a hard time using them because you know, her first palette was so successful. So I'm just working this right into that hush hush color, but not all the way up. I don't know why I haven't made a video in so long. Well, I know why. Like, it's because I was literally at my pool all summer long and I was like shopping at Home Goods and Target and Hobby Lobby. I love Hobby Lobby. You can actually find like more than just one random broken item. Like home goods, I feel like home goods, everything is like broken. Like you'll find something and, and it's beautiful and then you go to like place it on a table to see how it looks and something's like lopsided. There's a lot of broken lamps in there, but I do love home goods. I, I like that you can find like random stuff, but I just don't like that. Some of their stuffs, I don't know, it can be broken, but that's okay. It's fine. Um, but Hobby Lobby, they just have multiple items. So if you see one like glass jar that you love there's going to be six more behind it that are great so you can kind of like buy more than one random item i actually have like my get ready beauty room so i have an entire room with my vanity setup my camera my ring light my backdrop i have shelves of makeup in here i have the big window in front of me so as for like why I didn't make a video, I don't know, because it was so easy. I set up my camera on my vanity and do this and do that and then take it all down because I needed like room to like get ready for work or whatever. So I don't really know why I haven't made one in so long because it actually is so much easier now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of like work off any extra pigment from that Rockstar shade on a paper towel. And I'm going to go back in with the Hush Hush shade. So just a little bit tap some extra off and I'm just really gonna like blend the two together a little bit more sometimes like the dark colors they will like overpower that lighter color so now I just have like a smoother transition from the two now we're gonna go in with the mystic shade which is the matte darkest shade in the palette and I'm going in with my morphe m433 brush so this is really similar to the m441 brush and this is pretty much the same size so this is the one that I originally used, this is the one that I'm going to be using, but it's a little bit more flat. Alright, so we're going to go in with that shade, and right in the crease, I'm just going to kind of sit that in there. It's so quiet in my apartment. I'm usually used to, like, someone being home at my mom's house when I do this, or the dogs barking, because at my mom's house we have three dogs and a cat. Like, right now, I'm wondering if my neighbors downstairs can hear me. All my neighbors are really cool. I'm going to clean off that original M441 brush with a paper towel. And I'm going to go back in with my Rockstar shade, but I'm not really using too much, just a little bit. And I'm just going to buff everything together. If you ever feel like you use too much product or too much, you have, like, too much pigment everywhere, you can always take, like, a clean, fluffy blending brush and just kind of go in with that clean brush and work out any lines that you have. So now for my eyelid, I'm going to go back in with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I'm going to use, this is actually a morph brush also, but this is seven years old and I got it at the New York International Beauty Show. So I don't even know what brush this is. I've had this for seven years and this little piece never came off the wood and this is pretty solid. I'm just gonna pack that right on my eyelid. This color looks great with the purples from that palette. And I don't want like too solid of a cut crease so I'm just gonna go with my finger and blend that down. I've also been shopping a lot at Wayfair. I love Wayfair. Um, I know like Jocelyn and 
something else. I forget which one it is, but another one, it's like, they're very similar to Wayfair, they're like all like the same like website or distributor or something, but I love Wayfair, I've had really good experiences from Wayfair. Um, I definitely suggest reading reviews, looking at customer photos in the reviews, so don't just buy something random that doesn't have any reviews, any pictures, because you never know what you're going to get. Let someone else do that for you, let someone else figure out what it's going to look like. I've actually did a couple reviews too because I feel like they're really helpful so I want to be helpful. Now I'm going in with the Morphe MB15 brush and this is a... <sighs> I guess it's like a big fat shadow brush but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blend out that line in the crease from the primer. I like this brush but I think it actually might be a little bit too big for my eyelid. But yeah so on Wayfair, oh my god I bought everything. I bought my bed frame, my comforter, my bedroom end tables, my lamp in my bedroom, my, both my lamps, my lamps in my living room, I got my kitchen table from there, I got my TV stand in my bedroom from there, I bought, what else did I buy from there? I literally bought so much stuff from Wayfair. If you need anything for your apartment or your house or wherever, your workspace, I definitely suggest Wayfair or whatever, like other couple of companies that they are like associated with. I feel like my voice sounds so tired. I was up at five o'clock this morning getting ready for the gym. Me and Kristen have been killing it at the gym. So Kristen, if you're watching this, I'm so proud of you. So now that my eyeshadow is pretty much done, I'm gonna take a Q-tip with a little bit of moisturizer and I am going to just clean up any purple shadow falling that I have around my eyes because when I go to put my foundation on, I don't want my foundation to mix with that and then I would have purple all over. Um, and I'm just going to kind of buff this line out because I don't really want like too much of a harsh line. Alright, I'm going to do my eyeliner real quick and I always use In The Village black felt tip liner. So In The Village is the name of my salon so one time someone actually commented on my picture or on my video and said, oh I never heard of the brand In The Village. Well, it's actually my salon but we have, not my salon, it's the salon that I work at. But we have our own brand of makeup, so that's where that comes from. I'm going to do just a small wing. And then I'm going in with the e.l.f. I think this is like their pro liner. So it's just like in a little tube like this, and then when you open it up, it's got almost like a little paintbrush, but it is a liquid liner. So the liquid is in here, and then you're kind of using the brush. So because the felt tip sometimes isn't as smooth looking, I just go over everything to smooth the line out with the e.l.f. products. Now for mascara, I'm going in with the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. It comes in this like tapered looking tube. So I always start like right at the root and then I just wiggle the brush in and then I kind of bend the lashes back a little bit and that just keeps them a little bit fuller. Alright, so pretty much my eyes are close to done. At the end I'll probably either just go in and do like a little bit shadow under my lash line with mascara or I might just do mascara. Um, I don't know, it depends, but we will get back to that. I'm actually going to move on to the face and then go back to the eyes. So let's get into our face products. I always like to use something under my eye. For a while I was using the Smashbox Hydrating Under Eye Primer. I like that because, you know, I work long shifts. So when you are working long shifts, you don't want your concealer to be like dry looking or start to get like cakey or move. So I was using that and that just kind of like plumps up your eyes a little bit but I just switched to the Milk Makeup and I'm using their like little cooling stick and all you do with this is just kind of roll that under your under eye and if you're not used to like any products that have any like cooling feeling or like caffeine then it's gonna feel a little bit weird at first like it will feel like really cool and like tingly but I've been using you know, the Smashbox stuff that has the caffeine in it, so I don't really feel anything anymore. I guess my face is just like used to the feeling. So I just roll that under there and then that's gonna help like plump up my under eye throughout the day rather than like, I don't know, me being so tired considering that I do wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning to go to the gym before I go to work. But that's okay. I like going to the gym early. And then I just put this like on my smile lines too just to like plump that up. And that's pretty much it for that. So now we're going to go in with our primer. And this is the Urban Decay Optical Illusion 
Yeah, Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. So it's smoothing, it's got rose hip and argan oil. <gasps> Do I want oil on there? Honestly, this is amazing. It really does fill in your pores and I only use like that much. That's literally it. And that's all I need on my entire face because it spreads out smoothly. So what I do is I put it on both of like my ring fingers and then I put this anywhere where I think I'm going to get oily during the day like this. And then I just smooth that into my skin. So I always get like really oily like on my nose and my chin and my forehead. I don't know why, but my forehead, I swear, gets so oily. So I just work that into my forehead. I have a big forehead, so I like really gotta work that in. Well, you can still see I still have like white primer everywhere. Okay. And for primer, I'm going in with my, oh wait, foundation. <laughs> and for foundation, I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. I do love this so much. I think it's oil free. I'm pretty sure it's oil free. I might be wrong. And I'm just gonna put this all over my skin on that big old forehead. <laughs> and I'm using the shade 6.0. Um, 6.0, any point zero number is for anyone with like neutral to olive skin or even like a maybe like a golden skin color. Um, the point fives are for anyone that does have like a pinker complexion. Not for someone that has redness on their face. So like if you have like rosacea, I wouldn't say, oh, okay, so like you have red on your face, so go with like a 0.5. No, you want to cancel that out. So you're going to actually use a 0 0.0. So I'm using 6.0. So 6 is the level of darkness. I feel like I'm talking hair color. A level 6. Level 6, medium to light brown. Once they like settle into your skin, they do end up like looking a little bit darker. Like you'll see, if you don't actually like buff it in enough or blend it enough, like if you look in the mirror in your car outside, you'll, cause sometimes like I forget to like blend in here really good. So when I go to look in the mirror in my car, I'll be like, oh my God, why do I have like this like orange spot? So it is okay to go like a little bit lighter if you need to. You can always go lighter and then put more bronzer over top of anything if it need. Oh, shit. Now we're going to get into concealer, and again, I'm using Urban Decay, so I already used Urban Decay Primer, their foundation, and I'm using their Weightless Naked Skin Concealer, which I love because it is nice and light. So once I put my concealer on, I'm going to use a damp beauty blender. I got a pack of beauty blenders from Amazon. There was like five in a pack. So I got this little guy, I got this one, I got another one of these... So it's like shaped like that. Oh my god, it's so dirty. I got a blue one. I got a green one. Oh, so I guess it's like six. And then I got a purple one. Um, but I got them because, because I'm on an Amazon Prime kick right now. And I've literally ordered everything off Amazon that I can possibly think of in the last two weeks. And I have a shipment coming to my apartment every single day. All right, so with the concealer, I'm just going to go right in here. I don't really use too much concealer because it's buildable, so like if I need to go back and add more, that's fine, but I don't want to like use too much and have like a really hard time like blending it out because for the most part, when you're using a damp beauty blender, it's pretty easy to blend out because you can kind of like work it out wherever you need to. And I'm going to put like a little bit up here to brighten my big old forehead. Okay, so with my damp beauty blender, and I love these beauty blenders because the edge is so pointy so I can like really get in like right in the corner of my eye. I'm going to start in the corner and I kind of like pack that down like under my eye first and then I like drag it down a little bit into like that like triangle zone. And if you can't work it like completely in the corner of your eye, that's okay because I'm going to go back in with like a little fluffer brush and buff that out. Yeah, so I've ordered so much stuff on Amazon. I ordered workout clothes. I ordered like some workout gear. Like I ordered those like round sliding discs that you can like work out your abs with. I ordered a lot of workout clothes. I'm wondering if like Amazon Prime is really worth it. But I don't know, free two day shipping is so nice because the one day I really like didn't do my laundry. So, and I didn't plan on doing it. Oh, so that was today. So 
this past week, I didn't really have any gym clothes to wear, so I'm like, okay, let me just go on Amazon and order gym pants. So I went on YouTube and I looked up um, Lululemon dupes, and I found like a pair of gym pants that were $20 that look and feel just like Lululemon, and the length is great, the comfort is great, and I ordered a pair, had them sent in two days, so I'm like, all right, perfect, I'm not gonna have to do any of my clothes, I'm not gonna have to wash any of my laundry. So today at the gym, I wore my new gym pants, my Lululemon dupes. So now I'm gonna go on Amazon and I'm gonna order two more colors. Okay, and with my same damp beauty blender from Amazon, I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier, with my Laura Mercier, is it Mercier or Mercier? So I'm gonna go in with that little point and I am going to go down the side of my nose and right under my eye. I am under lights all day. My face does look kind of oily. Oh my God. And I have to look at myself in a mirror all day long. The longer that you bake your setting powder, the longer your concealer is going to last and your makeup's not really going to move as much. So since my skin is a little bit tanner, I am going in with the ColourPop um, Deep 70 No Filter Concealer. And I am going to contour with that. And this you seriously only need like a tiny bit of because it blends out so nicely. With my Amazon Beauty Blender, I am going to take like the back of this part. And I can't see what I'm doing. And I am going to just buff that into my skin. Work it up, work it out. And now I'm taking a flat brush and I'm gonna just work that setting powder into my skin and then like off too. So wipe off any extra. Another place that I got a lot of furniture from, okay, that's a lie. Another place that I got some furniture from is the Christmas tree shop. I actually got two end tables from there for my living room. And they were like a really good price. Um, I actually got them on display because there wasn't anything left. So they were already set up. I didn't have to set anything up. I didn't have to get any tools out. I didn't have to do anything. The lady just literally took them like right off the shelf and handed them to me. And she even gave me a little bit of a discount, which was really nice of her. She didn't have to do that. Um, so yeah, the Christmas tree shop has really good stuff. My sister bought me all of my mugs, all my coffee mugs from the Christmas tree shop. Most of them. Um, that was like one of my gifts from one of my sisters. You know, like in like the 90s or like the 2000s when like your mom's like dishes all had like a teal line with like a little tiny like teal flower and then all the matching coffee mugs. I want like everything to be completely different. So my sister got me like really cute mugs. I think she bought me this one with the J on it. Um, I might have bought this, but if she did, then Katie, shout out to you. And for blush, I'm going in with the NYX Ombre Blush. And this is in the shade, um, Zero, oh, Strictly Chic. This is like more of like an orangey shade, and I like that. Like I love those like nice peach tones. So I'm also using a Morphe G4 blush brush. And I'm just gonna go in and do my, like, apple of my cheek with that and like work that back. And for highlighter, I'm going in with the I Love Set of Heat by Dose of Colors. I am going to go in right on my cheek and start in like a little circular motion and like work that back a little bit. I actually like already beat this color to death. You can see it's like so cakey looking in there. And there's like highlighter all over the rim. So I have an LA Fitness membership and I don't really use it anymore because I've been going to Edge Fitness Club with, is that what it's called, the Edge Fitness Club? Yeah, I think so. With my friend Kristen, and we have been killing it at the gym at 5.30 in the morning. We're usually there from like, well, if we have work those days, we're usually there from like 5.30 until like 6.30ish, but like on the days that we don't have to like be there super early, we get there at 7. I'm actually going to go back in with my like little like contour damp beauty blender and just buff that in but yeah so for anyone that goes to edge oh my god edge is so nice so i think i'm actually going to cancel my la fitness membership and which sucks cause like i just got that membership because i moved to the area and there was an la here 
but I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. When you go in with like a damp beauty blender, it gives you more of like an airbrush look, like a flawless airbrush look, instead of like that powdery, like cakey look. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with my highlighter. Um, I'm not gonna put any eyeshadow under my under my lash line, but I will go in with a little bit of mascara just to brighten up my eyes a little bit. Yeah, so like Edge is like super packed, like everyone goes there, but they have so much equipment and they have so many cables and they have so much going on that like you're never like really standing around waiting for anything. Like you can always find the next thing to do. Like you can find something different to do. Where LA Fitness, um, so anybody that works at LA Fitness, if you're watching this, um, this is like my suggestion. Um, this is, I guess, like a customer complaint. But you guys never have a cable attachments, which is so annoying. You have to like grab a cable just to be able to claim a cable because someone's always on the cables. So you put your stuff down. I put my book bag down. I put my water bottle down on my phone. And then I literally search the gym for a freaking rope because they never have any cables, any cable attachments anywhere. So I have to like search all over the place for a rope which is so annoying, or a, a straight bar, or like anything. And there's also never any weights where they're supposed to be. That's so annoying too. Like when you go so early in the morning, which like it's early in the morning, like they, there should be dumbbells out. No, they're like scattered all over the place. Like all the 10s, 15s, and 20s are somewhere else, which that's like so annoying. Like where are they? But no, at Edge, they have so much stuff. And it's so nice in there. It's so clean. The music is so good. You honestly don't even need your earphones or your headphones if you left them at home. So yeah, so right now I'm going with Kristen because she has a, like, she can bring a member, like, for the day. Because she, like, I guess pays for that, like, good membership. Um, but yeah, so I might cancel my membership at LA and go to Edge. <laughs> So, I'm going to go in with the Buxom White Russian. This is my favorite lip gloss ever. I'm on my, like, fourth bottle of it because I love it so much. And it is, like, a super, like, light color. The only thing is that on the inner part of your lip, it definitely gets dry during the day. So, sometimes what I'll do is I'll just put, like, a Burt's Bees chapstick on as a primer because that keeps your lips moisturized, and then I put the lip gloss on top. All right, guys, so there you have it. That was, like, my go-to look, my go-to for getting ready for work look using the new Jaclyn Hill Volt Collection, the Bling Boss Palette. I kind of shared my experience with it. I love the palettes. I think that they work great. I love the Bling Boss Palette. Um, and then, you know, we just talked about, like, why I haven't been on YouTube just with getting it settled into my apartment and being able to decorate and going to the pool in the summer and now I've been like going to the gym all the time a lot too so hopefully I can get to another video now that I do have like an entire room set up for like makeup beauty and YouTube so hopefully I'll be making another video soon but if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribe to my channel that way you don't miss another video